The Syrian people are the victims of an acute economic crisis caused by the terrorist war and the blockade imposed by the United States and its European allies. This situation is being exploited by Washington to carry out its plans against Syria, as condemned by the government and citizens of the Arab nation. We have more details in the following report from our correspondent Hisham Wanus. Commitment to work, solidarity, dignity, determination and devotion to life and the homeland define the daily efforts of the government and citizens of Syria in the face of a scenario marked by inflation, rising prices, lack of electricity, shortages of fuel, medicines and other basic needs. A difficult situation that Syrians agree is the result of the blockade imposed by Washington to generate popular unrest as a means to push the population into uprising against their government, an attempt to achieve what they have failed to do through the use of terrorism, military intervention and the occupation during the last 10 years of terrorist war imposed on the Arab nation. The prices of products are very high, as incomes are a limit and not enough to purchase basic goods. Likewise, Syrian citizens suffer from the lack of fuel for heating, transportation and electricity generation, and all this is the result of the blockade imposed by many countries on Syria. But even so, we are confident that the situation will improve and we will advance. Little by little, we can overcome the crisis because during the war, the situation was catastrophic and we have managed to triumph. And now, with work, dedication and solidarity, we can overcome the effects of the blockade and frustrate the evil plans of the United States. At the same time, Syrians denounce that the United States is using the difficult humanitarian situation as a source of pressure on the United Nations and its Security Council to approve a draft resolution to extend the mechanism for cross-border traffic approved in 2014 for one more year, which expires on July the 10th of this year. A mechanism that Russia and China, as well as Syria, stress serves to bring into Syrian soil without the supervision of Damascus, military and logistical supplies for terrorist groups under the pretext of humanitarian assistance of the Syrian people. Syria's allies are opposed to the approval of this resolution by the Security Council, so we are confident that pressure from the United States will not be effective, as our allies will defend the sovereignty of Syria since, in this diplomatic battle, they are also defending their own sovereignty and their common interest with Syria. Meanwhile, the official and popular joint efforts continue to overcome the economic crisis that is affecting the country. On Thursday, July the 1st, the Made in Syria shopping festival inaugurated its 119th edition in Damascus as part of this effort, an event that seeks to counteract the negative effects of the Western blockade by providing a platform to promote national production and to bring products directly to consumers at affordable prices without intermediaries, one of many signs of Syrians' determination to push ahead in the face of the economic war unleashed by Washington and its allies. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damascus, Syria.